Oakland A's hosting the New York Yankees. The Yankees are minus 250 on the money line. The A's are plus 205. The over-under is eight runs. The Yankees lying around and a half are minus 105, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. The A's getting a run and a half are plus 105, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Jermon pitched once against the A's last year. Four innings, four runs, four earned. The Yankees won that game 7-5 at home. Aller has pitched twice this year against the Yankees. They were really like relief appearances. One and a third, two runs, one earned. They lost that game nine to five in New York. One innings, no runs, no earned. They lost that game five to three also in New York. The Yankees are on a five game winning streak. They're six and four in their last 10. They are 33 and 28 on the road. They are 57 and 69 on the run line. They've won Jermon's last two starts. They are three and four as a team with him on the mound. And the under is four, two and one in the games in which he pitches in. The A's are on a two-game losing streak. They are 20 and 43 on the road at home. Forgive me. They're like awful at home. They're four and six in their last 10. They are 61 and 66 on the run line. They are three and eight as a team with Aller on the mound. The over is six, four, and one in the games in which he pitches in. Head to head, the Yankees are on a five-game winning streak against the A's. The Yankees are eight and two against them in their last 10. The underdog getting a run and a half, though, is six and four. There have been five one-run games in the last 10 meetings. The over-under is 5-5, five and five, and the under-8 is 5-4-1. and one. I'm taking the Yankees with the money line, the Yankees with the runs, and the over. And if they can't hit Aller with how high his ERA is, something is seriously wrong with this lineup. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.